That query can now be resolved thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. The most powerful telescope in the world will provide fresh resources to answer the age-old question of whether or not there is life outside of Earth. Join us as we explore James Webb's terrifying discovery of city lights that changes everything. The only life we are aware of so far is on Earth. People have questioned if there is life in the universe since the dawn of civilization. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence SETI project was started in 1984 by American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson to conduct such interstellar searches. The nonprofit organization's goal is to collect radio transmissions from space. Because radio waves are less scattered or absorbed than other types of radiation, they can travel farther and are therefore more likely to be picked up by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the unique Allen Telescope Array in the Californian Cascade Mountains. However, no confirmed alien signal has been picked up in 30 years. After that, the search was helped by the successful deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, the largest telescope in the world which is floating about a million miles from Earth and equipped with extremely sensitive detectors will study a variety of distant, undiscovered planets orbiting far-off stars. Other than the planets in our solar system, no other planets were recognized 20 years ago, but more than 4,000 more planets, sometimes known as exoplanets, have since been found orbiting other stars. According to NASA, there could be trillions of exoplanets in the universe. Extraterrestrial plant life may provide the earliest indications of life outside of our solar system. While traveling, Galileo's spacecraft turned its instruments back toward Earth and detected the definite sign of the presence of plants. The vegetation red edge of VRE biosignature, a combination of red and infrared light reflected by plants, was picked up by the device. If there is an Earth-like planet covered in jungle, for example, it should have a strong VRE signal that should be simple to detect. The JWST will measure the VRE of distant Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars. The makeup of the exoplanet atmospheres may contain significant indicators of life. The JWST may be able to detect sunlight passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere when it crosses the face of its star. The missing wavelengths in the light would subsequently be found using spectroscopy. The atmosphere's atoms and molecules absorb particular wavelengths, leaving a distinct fingerprint that the JWST can detect. In this approach, the atmosphere's makeup may be discovered and the potential for life can be deduced. If Earth-sized planets with atmospheres like our own were discovered with a predominance of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, those planets would probably be able to sustain life. And it could be possible to spot technological life by checking for the presence of substances that don't happen to occur normally. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which were produced for use in cleaning products and refrigeration, would likely be visible to aliens observing Earth's atmosphere from a distance. CFCs in planetary atmospheres would be a telltale sign of a civilization if the JWST discovered them. In fact, life on exoplanets might not resemble life on Earth at all. Even earthly life, such as extremophile species, can occasionally appear foreign. This is a group of organisms, primarily bacteria, that can survive in conditions that will make it impossible for other living things to survive. Some of them can tolerate temperatures as high as 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Others can endure temperatures as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Others exist on Earth in locations where we would not anticipate finding any life at all, including some that live in strong acids with pH levels below 3. However, because Webb was not designed to search for extraterrestrial life, the telescope can only closely analyze a few of the closest potentially habitable worlds. Additionally, it is restricted to monitoring changes in water vapor, methane and carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. Even while some mixes of these gases may be suggestive of life, Webb is unable to detect the presence of unbonded oxygen, which is the strongest indicator of life. The extremely large telescope, which is anticipated to start operations in the middle of the 2020s, is one of the upcoming ground-based observatories that will be able to perform a full atmospheric analysis. The JWST may be able to detect a few compounds, including ozone. A cutting-edge concept for the future, even more potent space telescopes, includes ideas to block the glaring brightness of a planet's host star in order to expose starlight reflected back from the planet. To better view something in the distance, think of doing something akin to blocking the sun with your hand. Small interior masks or big 
exterior umbrella-shaped spacecraft could be used in future space telescopes to accomplish this. Studying light reflecting off a planet is significantly simpler after the starlight is obstructed. Meet humans. Let us know what you think in the comment section below.